Are you tired of your local YouTuber shoving one of those shotgun mics in your face with a dead cat on top of it? In today's video, I'm going to tell you why you don't need this anymore and why you need to look at the Rode Wireless Go microphone system. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. As I just teased, I've not been using a shotgun mic for quite some time at this point. So today's video is like a 40 day review of using the Rode Wireless Go system for all of my content. So some quick tech specs about the Rode Wireless Go. It is an incredibly small system that packs a powerful punch. So you can see that both the transmitter and the receiver are USB type C charging. One of them comes with a three and a half millimeter jack, so you can use the lav mic like I have right now on. And it is a way smaller cousin of the Rode Filmmaker Kit. Now, I had the Rode Filmmaker Kit for quite a while, absolutely loved it, but when these came out, basically they were on back order forever, and I wanted to buy something that was much smaller and easier to carry. As you can see, this is actually the pouch that the receiver and the transmitter come in. So within this pouch, I have all of the plugs that I need to plug it into my phone and my camera, also the transmitters themselves and a lav mic. So all of this fits basically in the palm of my hand. So it's incredibly easy to carry. The setup out of the box was amazing. Rode, you nailed it on this one. I immediately could go from out of the box to recording with it within just a mere matter of moments. So you're gonna see later in this video, I use it with a Canon T7i as well as a Google Pixel 3 XL. So you can hear the audio quality between the two of those. And the cool thing about the transmitter that I'm wearing, this right here is a wireless lav mic, but I don't need that. And you'll see in some of my previous videos, I had this little clip on some of the shirts that I was wearing. Actually, the transmitter itself has a microphone built in and the quality is excellent. So I wanna to touch on this before I talk about the sound quality that was there when I just had it clipped to my shirt. I'm using a lav mic right now, so I've been using a lav mic this entire recording for this particular video. So the audio that you hear now is from this lav mic. The audio that you're going to hear in some of the other outside recordings that I have is directly through the transmitter. So you'll be able to tell the difference now between in studio and outside. I love the fact that I don't have to have a lav mic. I can just plug the camera one in, plug it onto my shirt, clip it onto my shirt, and then just roll. I don't have to worry at all about running the wires and then running it down my shirt and then putting it in my pocket and turning it on. It's just stupid easy right out of the box to work. So before I hit on sound quality, let me talk about the battery life and some of the other things that I like about it. The battery life on the transmitter, both the one on the camera and in the one in my pocket, is about seven hours. I talked about it before, it's USB type C charge, which I absolutely love because I have about a million of those cables laying around. If you're like me and I don't like anything less than 50% charge, I basically keep these things topped off all the time. Now I can hear people in the comments talking about like, oh, you're gonna ruin the battery when you do that. Look, that's just the way that I am. It's a OCD anxiety thing. Sorry, you just gotta deal with it. So in the beginning, I had to turn the volume all the way down on my Canon T7i. The reason is, is because I'm an obnoxiously loud human being. If you ask anyone around me, they'll tell you I'm probably the second or third loudest person in the history of humans, just flat out. Now the Rode Wireless Go has three different settings. You have zero, negative six, and negative 12. I had everything turned all the way down. After kind of finagling with it a little bit, I found that negative six and about I don't know, a quarter of the way up on my Canon T7i was a good quality level. I didn't like blow anything out. There was no clipping or anything like that. So from a sound quality perspective, that's where I needed to be. So my best advice is to say, hey, mess around with the camera, take multiple recordings, mess around with the transmitter, the negative six, the zero, and the negative 12. See what sounds right. You can tell by the audio quality right now. Again, I'm using the lav mic. It sounds really good. And in the next couple seconds, you're gonna hear what it sounds like outside using not only my Canon, but my Google Pixel 3 XL. Testing the microphone, I'm about, I don't know, 10-ish feet. I'm recording on a Canon T7i. I'm gonna keep walking backwards. I'm now one, two, about three parking spots away. I'm gonna to continue to walk backwards. They say this is about 200 feet. I guess I could continue to keep testing. Again, shot on a Canon T7i. I am backing up to see how far I can go
continuing to go. Hopefully, Gigi remembered to film all of this. So if not, this is her film debut as a camera person. Now this is a test with the Google Pixel 3 XL. As you can see, much like the Canon test, I am walking backwards. The point is, I'm not gonna go all the way back and forward like that I did of the Canon T7i. But the idea is you can also see I'm walking pretty far away and it's still nice and crispy audio. But the minute that I turn around like this, but I turn around and start walking towards you, you should probably pick up my audio again. I kind of mentioned all that stuff before. If you're looking for something like this, you definitely want to consider the Rode. As you can tell in those particular clips, I specifically said, make sure that you test and see what the clips are like. It is not a one size fits all approach. In the Canon T7i, there was no clipping at all. It was really good quality audio, even when I was walking backwards and I walked really far away. However, in the Google Pixel 3, you can hear that there is some clipping. That's because the Google Pixel 3, the audio runs hot. I should have turned down the volume, figured out a way to make it a little bit better. Again, that one size fits all approach. My recommendation is you can still get really good sounding audio quality out of this particular system. Just make sure you recognize it with the camera that you're using. As you just saw in those videos, I walked a long way away. Now they say 70 meters on their website, but I'm a dumb American and I needed to know what that meant in feet. And 70 meters is approximately 229 feet. And I am never, ever, ever going to walk that far away from my camera or my Google Pixel 3 XL just to record a full body shot that no one wants to see. Just calling it like I see it. So as you can see, when I turned around and I broke that basically direct line of sight, when I was pretty far away, it didn't work. However, if you're straight line of sight and you're just talking and you're really, really far away in a parking lot like I was, you're gonna have no problems at all, no drops, as long as you stay within that 229 feet or 70 meters. So it's a crazy easy setup. The range on this thing is absolutely amazing. The sound quality is absolutely amazing. And right out of the box, the thing works. And you get seven hours of battery life with a nice updated USB type C. What's some of the downfalls with this? Probably the only downfall I would say is the price. The price point's $200. I actually believe that that's a pretty good price point if you're looking for something that's really small and pocketable like this. If you need nice crispy audio and you don't have a crazy huge budget to get like a boom mic and all that other jazz, this is a great system that everybody should be using. I did a review of a Samsung Go wireless mic system that I said was $175. Honestly, for $25 more, I upgraded to this, no questions asked. The overall quality just looked a lot better. You can feel like the, the little transmitters are very small, but they're built really sustainable. I don't feel like I'm gonna break these things in half like some of the other systems that I've tried. I really enjoy the Rode Wireless Go system. Would I recommend this without question? I'm saying go out and buy this. You can pair other systems to it. You don't have to worry at all about anything like that. At $200, this is a no-brainer if you need good, crispy audio. I plan on using my Google Pixel 3 XL with it, plan on using my Canon with it, I can use an iPhone with it. There's just so much flexibility with this system, and it doesn't take up that much space. You're talking about something that's this big. This is significantly smaller than the phone that I have, definitely smaller than the B-Script Pro that I use to take photos with my phone. So yeah, link in the description below. Click it if you like, affiliate links, you know what they do. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time.